Paws are really cool flat ride, really fun to do. And it swings like a pendulum, but at the same time it spins, so it kind of gives you that feeling of how Peter Pan would fly or something like that. Really fun type of ride. Fantastic! That was awesome. <laughs> Terrifying. Oh, it's a killer ride. Oh, it's bloody awesome, mate. Yeah, excellent. Excellent! Yeah. Sensational! Not too scary, it just makes you feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Ocean Parade is home to stomach churners like Wipeout, five minutes of body-wrenching twists and tumbles. Fantastic ride, a lot of fun. The Wipeout really describes what it is. You feel like you're in a bit of a washing machine when you're on it. Ocean Parade also features an intense steel coaster called Cyclone. The Cyclone is the tallest gravity-fed roller coaster in the Southern Hemisphere. It's about 130 feet tall and goes about 89 kilometres an hour and has two loops in it. For the youngsters, there's Nick Central, the first Nickelodeon-themed kids zone outside the USA. SpongeBob SquarePants is here, as well as a host of attractions themed around Nickelodeon characters, like Blue's Clues and Dora the Explorer. There's even a Rugrats roller coaster. Preschoolers will want to check out Wiggles World, DreamWorld's official Australian home for the musical group that's taking the world by storm. Things get a little wet in scenic Gold Rush country, with rides like the Thunder River Rapids and the Rocky Hollow Log Ride. The outlook is pretty around the whole park, and then you come up to the conveyor belt up there, and that's when it all happens. This area of Dreamworld is also home to two of the most intense rides on the planet. It's our iconic attraction, the Tower of Terror. It's, uh, we were the first to install and there's only a few of those in the world. As I say, it's iconic, you can't miss it. 36 storeys high, so you see it from the highway. I won't, I can't. I'm gonna She's do, gonna it. do it. I'll watch and laugh, but there's no way. I just, there's, I can do it. The Tower of Terror rockets passengers skyward at speeds of 160 kilometers an hour in just seven seconds before they free fall backwards on the L-shaped track. On the Tower of Terror, you have a maximum G-force of about four and a half Gs, and on the way down, you get zero gravity, so you get that floating feeling just off your chair. Utilizing the same landmark structure, the Giant Drop is officially the tallest vertical free fall ride in the world and takes its place in the Guinness Book of World Records. <laughs> I'm doing it because my daughter can do it, so... Just for the adrenaline, just for the fun. I'm terrified. The great thing is um, both rides are attached to each other, so if you're up there, you're up in these huge heights, which are quite scary, but then if you get the coaster coming up as well, you get a massive shake when you're on the tower, which adds to the thrill. It's 390 feet high, which makes it the world's highest. So you go up really slow, and then basically after what seems like five minutes, which is in fact only about 10 seconds, you drop to the earth in like two seconds flat, and it's just